welcome to the share knowledge last week i have released one video based on confusion of sap installation in this video i have a cover up sap installation related some confusion this is the same video today i am recording but this video will be in english language because i have received a lots of requests from the people they want to same video in english so i am recording again with same content before one or uh, i i am not sure one year or might be one and half year i have released one video on how to install sap atr home and for practice purpose you can install sap atr home and also the same installation steps and experience you can carry out everywhere because installation would be the same step everywhere either uh, you can install it your home or in your corporate or uh, might be if you are running some institution classes or something like that then whenever sap installation will be the same after releasing this video i have received lots of positive response and lots of email from the people based on this video they were able to install sap themselves also they saved their money because they installed same sap at your personal system and they don't need to buy monthly charges and uh, some demo system like that but in this video i have cover up all the topics but still lots of people are getting some confusion on uh, os installation and uh, some people are even emailing me sap car not able to uh, extraction and licensing something like that so i have figure out some five five points which then people need clarification so today i am again same giving the same trying to clarification on the same point the first point is windows server os lots of people are asking me is it possible to install in windows 7 or windows 10 or windows 11 again i am saying sap is a erp system and is a big system and sap system designed only for server os and if you are using linux then you have to choose specific linux version so if you are using a windows operating system then it is mandatory to you have to use server os now in server os you can use the 2008 server edition 2012 server edition 2016 server edition and 2019 server edition you can take anyone now if you want to install win, uh, with windows 10 then is it possible yes is it possible with the help of virtual server means vmware because uh, uh, vmware is a famous uh, virtual machines for everyone and uh, lots of people are using for home practice vmware so you can use it and install sap at your home but vmware option is not suggestible if you are specific using it your home because vmware taking more resource and hardware for this is the reason if you are want to install a server os then it is a good option and after installing you will get a good performance so it is the mandatory to use server os the second point is sap car the lots of people facing issue and the most important people are telling me uh, sap car command not found so what is the reason actually why people are getting this issue sap car first of all i would like to tell you sap car is not any command this is not any windows command let me give an example so we are downloading sap from sap website sap service portal or support portal so in support portal sap put all the downloaded files in compression level uh, compression ratio so same like if you are uh, uh, downloading some big files from the cloud or something like that then you have to download and extract it because the majority the file are collection of different different small small files right so after downloading you uh, after downloading any source file we require to some uh, zip file or winrar file right so same sap use their own compression and for their own compression sap provide one executable file it's called sap car so now you understand what is the meaning of sap car and the, keep in mind sap car is not any external or internal command sap car is an executable file which is provided by sap itself only so 
now if you are downloading source with sap car so people are getting error like sap car but if you are uh, whatever names you give like uh, just uh, give me show the example in our video here here this is the sap car and then we have to give a parameter value hyphen x here here it will work sap car because here the file name is sap car so if you are downloading sap car with the name of uh, sap car underscore one two three then here you have to write down sap car and whatever file name or if you want to don't want to use a long name then you can rename any file sap car sap sap123 anywhere but be sure whatever na name have you given here you have to use and then you can execute then you will get successful extraction from sap car okay so i think it is good enough to understand what is the sap car and uh, if you are facing issue like sap car then it will be help to you now the another third point sap inst id and password if you are installing sap ecc which i have provided source then uh, this error you will not face but if you are installing sap netweaver then in netweaver definitely you will get some id and password let me show you here you will get like that if you are installing a system asking like password then i have not provided any id password because this is the not id password set by me this system credential asking from your own system so if you are using windows operating system then whatever login you are using this is the login information you have to provide here so keep in mind i didn't set any id and password here if you are installing sap netweaver then you have to uh, give your system id and password here okay third uh, fourth number sap uh, abap netweaver versus ecc now people are asking uh, what is the difference between uh, sap netweaver package and uh, here the ecc package so if you want to practice for only functional then you have to choose sap ecc version and if you want to practice for only ABAP addition means development, then you can install SAP Netweaver. Now, benefit of the SAP ECC. If you install SAP ECC, then you will get uh, lots of functionality like uh, MM module functionality, SD, MM, uh, PICO, and whatever module you can practice this, along with ADOP, uh, along with uh, ABAP uh, practice uh, Netweaver. But if you install only sap net uh, netweaver then you will get only the limited functionality but you will get only for developer purpose so this is the main difference but uh, if you want to just to give a exp uh, if you want to just take a experience of installing then i suggest sap netweaver because this is very small package and uh, if you have a good enough system then this package you will get in a successful installation in within an hour or under half an hour but if you are installing sap ecc then it will take a too much time uh, approx uh, four to five hours and uh, 99 percent you will get an error so you have to sort it out depend on the system so it is a choice is your what package you want to install then time interval error recently lots of people are getting error like time interval while uh, after in successful installation they are uh, copying system uh, they are creating new client if you are uh, using uh, new client creation and getting time interval error then what you have to do here i am just giving the steps after start the sap here you have to just go to t code sm59 then here you have to click on a web connection and uh, which type of error you will get like this type uh, if you are giving us uh, doing some client copy and up, uh, in the uh, middle of the client copy you are getting like that then this type of uh, rfc connection you will get and here uh, you will get your uh, whatever sid creation like that okay so what you do this is the this is the static name every uh, this uh, finbtr so here like that double click on the uh, here then here you have to click on logon and security here you have to give a id password 
because after successful sap installation sap will provide two uh, two pre uh, two pre created uh, sap user id one sap star and second one ddic so here i will suggest use ddic here just click and then click on edit here then you have to uh, here set here 000 ddic and password and then save it and click on connection after that connection test you will get the successful then you have to again start client and you will get the solution so you will get the solution of time interval error now the sap license lots of people are asking me after installing sap uh, is uh, will it uh, lifetime license or a limited time license i am not sure which type of system you are expecting or three months or four months but if you are getting error or licensing or three months or four months then i have two option you just contact any person who have a sap s user id authorization because if you have s user id then you can extend this license one year without any charge and this thing will work every year so you have to just ask to any your friend please give the uh, 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 please give the uh, license file so it is free because we have, uh, sap only provide sap user id uh, sap s user id only corporate id no one can buy uh, their single okay and if you don't uh, find any friends or something like that then ask to me i will try my best but keep in mind if if i will uh, if uh, require any some uh, charges or something like that then i will tell you in the advance because this is the license file and i have to buy from somewhere else so keep in mind i hope all your doubts will be clear based on sap installation if you like this video please like and subscribe the channel i will upload more video on the sap and one more thing lots of people are asking me the same tutorial in english language so i am trying my old videos also converting in english as soon as possible thank you